I'm about to share with you the most important and valuable information my doctor ever gave me that quite literally is going to save my life. So this diagram is on the perspective of just drinking a 20 ounce bottle of soda that contains 65 grams of sugar, so 16 sugar packets overall, and what happens to your body, how it needs to break it down, and what is going to happen to the different parts of your body, your different organs, how your body is going to react to that amount of sugar being put into it. So I'm gonna come back to the brain, but we're gonna start with the heart. So if you have too much sugar in your diet, that's gonna to lead to insulin levels being spiked through the roof, in turn can give you heart disease in the future or a heart attack even. Bet you never even thought about the fact that sugar can affect your liver. When people think of liver, they think of alcohol affecting it the most, but sugar is also a huge component to your liver's health. The quick sugar can cause an overload with your liver, leading to cirrhosis or fatty liver even. The most mind-boggling one to me is even your joints. Eating too much sugar can lead to inflammation in your joints, which can worsen your joint pain. It can cause muscle spasms easier, make you a more sore person than the average individual. Everything is linked. So now to the literally most important part of your body, and without it, you would not be here your brain your brain is so intelligent it gives you those food indicators food signals so that's because sugar stimulates dopamine so when you crave sugar all of those things are a trigger to want to eat sugary foods to want to intake more especially at nighttime okay you may be wondering what my doctor told me that was so important you're like come on let's get to the point so essentially my doctor did a full blood panel on me and it showed how low in magnesium i was and that was why my body was craving sugar because it needed quick energy I was intaking maybe 200 milligrams a day and I thought that was enough because I was eating magnesium rich foods. I was taking the supplement, but no, it was not enough because our food does not contain as much magnesium as it used to due to pesticides and different added chemicals to keep our food fresh longer. So you really need to ensure that if you are not eating the right amount of foods, you are supplementing it other ways. The biggest way that I found that helped for me that was easy for me to remember was doing it in the spray form because I would do it at night on my feet. I do it in the morning when I woke up. It just came part of my routine and from um, then I was no longer having the triggers in my brain saying I need to eat sugary foods at nighttime after a fulfilling meal y'all if you are feeling like you need a sweet treat or the indicator of something sweet during the day then you need to get your magnesium panels checked like you need to check to see where you are on that level because without it your body is going to be telling you and giving you indicators it needs something and that something is magnesium y'all